A flame ionization detector is one of the possible detectors used in gas chromatography. It consists of the end part of the column, a hydrogen and oxygen inlet, a flame igniter, a nozzle and finally two electrodes. The positive electrode doubles as the head of the nozzle and is where the flame is burning. The negative electrode or collector electrode is situated above the flame. Hydrogen and at least 10% oxygen to support the flame mixes with the carrier gas and analytes before entering the nozzle. The flame is ignited by burning hydrogen, oxygen and carrier gas. When analytes are burnt by the flame, hydrocarbons will produce ions. These ions are then detected by the collector electrode, which is connected to a very sensitive electrometer. The electrometer will produce a current between the electrodes that is proportional in size to the amount of organic compounds present. The signal will then be converted into a peak. The number of peaks present can indicate how many components exist in the mixture. If you wish to understand how the flame ionization detector works in tandem with gas chromatography, check out this video. Until next time.